it is time. Hey, welcome back to Galaxy Jams Reacts. We're here with our special guest for the day, Delta Nine, and we're listening to Ronnie Size and Represent. It's uh, spelled with a Z. And the song we're going to be listening to is Brown Paper Bag. Ronnie Size and Represent, stylized as Ronnie Size and Represent, are British a drum and bass group fronted by Ronnie Size. The group debuted their studio albums uh, album. New Forms, and was released on June 23rd, 1997. So let's uh, check out Brown Paper Bag. Here we go. I've never heard this of you. I've never heard of this. No, nope, I haven't. It's always interesting seeing 90s videos again. My wallet go. Step to the rhythm made out of brown paper. Sounds that we bring are of a different nature. Rhythms get greater and the rhythms they get greater. Yes, another rough a tough form for the chaser. New configuration, new riff, and new structure. Built on the frame that'll hold and won't puncture. Tight, we wrap it up, it's wrapped tightly. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> oh my god, dude, it's so funny. Somebody really had fun with the rewind yeah, feature. The line, the baby, the yeah. baby carriage. <laughs> this is like a two million dollar video tonight. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I knew they were going to let that break loose at some point. The guy's going to be A strange video <laughs> oh yeah i know and uh i feel like i just was hearing so many sounds together and that i've never heard together before mm. oh um, yeah you know it's like uh like w it sounded like an acoustic bass you know mm -hmm. and i liked yeah, how yeah. on top of the drum and bass there was like this like weird filtered like whistle sound you know that was like going back and forth which i really really dug yeah what did yeah. you think chris um i thought the whole thing was pretty cool honestly uh, it definitely reminded me of like the conversation we were having earlier just about like sounds that kind of define a generation of music and um back then it was like samples right so those those different breaks and like the kind of iconic breaks and when they when they unleashed that that was like kind of nostalgic for me so i dug yeah. that and the upright bass that's it like yeah specific sound like it's is so key in those like early hip-hop track so right, um, definitely that yeah. was cool though good, good blend of like hip-hop and, and uh 
drum and bass, right? Yeah, and I think the MC was doing a good job not being overbearing. And, you know, I've always wanted to go to those raves where it's literally like drum and bass for seven hours and someone on stage just yelling at me the whole time. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I always like when I watch videos of like an, a great MC in front of a drum and bass DJ, it's like it can really make or break it. So, yeah. um, all right, let's uh, I do it. A German bass DJ that used to live for clearing the dance floor. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, like I said, some people, uh, you know, like going by the rules and some people like breaking them, you know. Uh, shoot, shoot the deuce uh, seems to be liking it a lot with some great emojis in the chat. Let us know what you think about this great song. Let's keep it going. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Just got home from school. Got to turn it on. Trashy and everything. Yeah. Step to the rhythm made down to brown paper. I like how they're sampling his vocals like that. want that baby carriage to fall. There you go. I just did. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive, Mike. <laughs> nice. That's dope. I like it. Yeah, that was really cool. It's my favorite so far. Yeah, and um, I like how you mentioned samples because I feel like when I'm watching the video, it looks like when people make videos out of different like clips and then just use those clips over and over again, it's kind of like right. sampling. Mm -hmm. It felt like they were sampling a movie or something, Yeah, you know, with the video direction. Um, this album actually went five times platinum, oh, uh, wow. believe it or not, and won the Mercury Prize. So, uh, you know, it was very well known uh, at its time. Yeah, I've never uh, heard them before, but no. damn, that was great. I really can't wait to listen to the whole album, actually. Yeah, it was fire. It sounded really good. 